Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading, second till the 8th of September 2024 for the sign of Aries. Sun, moon, rising in Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. Well, that's nice. Cornucopia, number 11. I mean, number 11 is a master number. It's very positive in terms of manifestation. Um, but cornucopia is wishes fulfilled. This is a wishes granted. You can see the dreamy, bountiful, flourishing energy, you know, in the card. This is a wish fulfilled in some way. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Aries, Archangel Michael card for the week ahead? What do we have for Aries? For the week to come, Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, the way forward is open, number 32. You're not trapped, possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. All right, Aries, let's pull some cards, see what we have for you. Message for Aries for the week ahead. Angel, spirits, guides. One more shuffle. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. The Page of Cups, it's a, it's a very positive message. Can sometimes be to do with a young person or a child as well. But this more feels like a, as an overarching energy, it's likely to be, it feels like a positive message here. The Four of Wands, happy home, happy family, celebrations. The Four of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. Five of Wands. Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Page of Wands. So let's pull an additional message with the Page of Cups. I mean, the Cornucopia energy is, is a very happy and fulfilled energy. So a positive message is coming in. It might well be here, Aries, that it's time to let go of something that is is might be difficult to let go of here but it might well be that this message is bringing in something positive for you let's see what we have for aries the page of cups The tower, the tower, again, is the tearing down of the old, yeah. It can represent significant change. It can be an event of some kind, even sometimes sudden or... Let's see what we have, the tower. The four of pentacles. One more with that, thank you. The world. It's come out more reverse than upright. Yeah. I think here, Aries, there is something that might you might be holding on to here, or it could be a financial thing. For, for some of you, it might well be your own business. It could well be to do with, you know, property for some of you as well. Um, 
or it could, I mean, it could well be to do things like financial areas, job, business, or in business, you know, whatever this thing is. I mean, this is like resisting an ending, but it looks like change is happening or change has to happen in some way. And it looks like something new might be opening up for you, but it means letting go of something. The four of wands and the five of wands uh, the five of wands can be about conflict, competition, or competing for something. But, you know, the five of wands can be conflict with others, you know. Could well be in the home, the family, the relationship. Or we're bring it can be a situation where you're bringing work home with you. Or, Again, one person might be saying, let it go, and you might not want to, or vice versa, you know. The same energy would apply if it was other areas of life. Conflict. What do we have, please, for Aries? Okay, the Four of Cups. Something being offered here, and I've got the Four of Cups here, which is probably in your own best interest to listen to. I mean, this is deep down, I know what I need to do. I'm just reluctant to do it. The Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords is the acceptance of an ending. I mean, yes, you could say here, Aries, that this could be about a relationship itself or um, someone not wanting to let go of it even though it's happening here, but I think that there is the potential of something new. Um, again, the Page of Cups can be a message of support. It can be a new love interest as well, um, but it can also be to do with, uh, you know, very positive, uplifting message to do with other life areas, especially when we have the Four of Pentacles, which can also be financial. This is somebody who's been trying to, to make something work, holding on to something for, for dear life. And I think that, and, and resisting, almost like resisting whatever this tower is. Um, again, truth, revelation, an event that comes in, realization even. Um, but it can be linked with completions and endings, you know? I mean, that could well be change happening in the work situation, change happening with your own business. It could well be uh, some kind of health issue, is like some kind of wake-up call where, again, another person is saying, you can't keep on doing this kind of thing. You have to let it go. You have to, you have to end something here. It could well be where you might be considering retirement or semi-retirement because, again, maybe health-wise or, you know, for your own wellness and well-being, it's time to bring something to an end as well. So the specifics are going to vary. But the same message applies. There is a tower. There is change, but someone is resisting that. But I think that there is something new to walk through to, you know, whether it's, again, getting a, a better, more flexible, you know, job. If you are retiring, it might well be working in less days a week. Um, for others of you, it could well be an exciting new path in terms of job, business opportunity. If you are letting go of your business, for example, as well, or if you are letting go of one, you know, um, employment period of your life, you know, it might well be there's something new opening up for you. The Page of Wands is very exciting and it can be of an exciting message. It can be to do with the wand of opportunity as well or setting foot on an exciting new beginning full, full of possibilities and potential, but this is just the beginnings of it. Um, you might even be starting something yourself if you were an entrepreneur, you know, letting something go which is not working for you, but you take that learning with you. You know, we take all the learning, even in tower moments, we take all that learning with us if you're then deciding to start a brand new business. So the same energy applies. It feels like it's in your own self-interest now to let something go, even if it's painful, even though it's difficult, uh, because you're recognizing that it's time to let go. But it's nothing, all is not lost in this situation. There are still things to move forward to. But sometimes we have to recognize when things aren't working for us uh, because spirit is kind of saying there is a way forward here. There is an exciting new path with full of new possibilities and potential. And it's time to kind of like focus in that direction. Is what I want to say here, Aries. 
Let's see what we have for you. Free will. And cornucopia is wishes fulfilled. But it feels like that can only come in when you let go. For a lot of you, this feels more of a financial thing or um, a business thing. Uh, again, a feeling of self-preservation and self-protection for the home and the family, the relationship, the property, and the stability of that. It feels like it's, it's, it's time to let something go. And if that has, if something has ended here, it feels like there is a new path forward to open up with new possibilities. But it looks like something just isn't working for you anymore. And it's recognizing that and acceptance of that. So you can kind of like move on to this exciting new path. And on that path, Spirit is saying the way forward is open and there is something spirit can only bring in greater fulfillment and happiness to you once you let go of the old you know once you've let go of something that's not working for you however we try it's very difficult to resist a tower you know and really i haven't got the cards in this reading that is is kind of suggesting that that could be possible so we have divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity. Aries, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I mean, wishes fulfillment, the way forward is open. Again, there is that feeling here, Aries, but that involves letting go of something. Or accepting, you know, accepting a completion of some kind. But there is something exciting to move forward to here. Aries, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.